Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring video. And today we're going over one of the biggest mysteries in Elden Ring, the ending of the Nefeli questline. I've been trying to figure it out for days and so far we have not yet done it, but we can go over the quest to a certain point and then take a look at the data mined voice lines to see what the ending of our quest is to try and find clues on how to solve it. Really, there's only one or two trigger points, but no one can figure them out. So let's go on a journey to figure out the quest between Nefeli, Kenneth, Gatekeeper Gostock, and Gideon. And we'll start with the quest up to the point that no one can get past. To start with, you speak with Gatekeeper Gostock at the beginning of Stormville Castle. Whatever your options you decide to do with him, or whatever you say to him in the castle, it doesn't really matter. Because you might see him several times in Stormville, but whatever happens, you just don't kill him. As we'll speak with him later. You can also meet Nefali in Stormville Castle shortly before the Godric boss room. Now, this step is not required for completing the quest, as I personally never spoke with her, but you can summon Nefali to help you fight Godric if you wish. After defeating Godric, she will move to the Round Table Hold. And after defeating Godric, Gostick will be seen stomping on Godric's remains, and you can't do any more with him for now. We will get into the rest of his quest when we look at the data mine voice lines. At this point, you can speak with Kenneth Height. You meet him in Limgrave, north of the Mistwood, stranded on some ruins, and you can speak with him, and you have to retake his fort in the south by killing the knight inside. Of course, it's called Fort Height. Return to Kenneth, and you can use up all his dialogue, and he will return to the fort, at which point his quest will end for now, and he will simply talk about going on a quest in order to find his ruler or true lord of royal lineage, as he says. At uh, Roundtable Hold, then, you can speak with Gideon about Nefeli. You speak with her and use all her dialogue, and she will disappear and move to the village of Albanorix. You talk to her there, and she doesn't say much, but after you defeat the omen killer in the village, you can speak with her and she'll move back to Roundtable Hold, but this time she is in the basement. You can speak with her, and you can speak with Gideon, and then you can speak with her one final time, and then you need to go off and find an item for her. At the Four Belfries, you can use the portal to reach the Chapel of Anticipation, the area that you begin the game in, and you can acquire the Stormhawk King Ashes, and there's also another Ashes here as well. It's not an actual summon, but it's a key item that you can then go to Nefeli and give her. And when you do, she will say it reminds her of her first hawk. Now, in regards to Salavis's potion that you're supposed to give her, well, I still have it in my game, and I've never given it to her, Gideon, or anyone else, because I've never really seen a reason to. And I know from doing previous quest lines, like the Tanith and Raya one, where you get a potion that you can give to Raya, giving her the potion would end that quest line early, so I thought it best not to do anything with it. But at this point, that is as far as any of these three quest lines have gone. But we do know that there is a lot more to this quest from data mine dialogue options, and we're going to take a look at them to see how this quest is supposed to end and see if it offers us any more clues in triggering those endings. So let's take a look at the first set of dialogue for Nefeli. And she mentions the hawk and the storm in the basement of the round table hold. And she's obviously no longer there in this set of dialogue. And I should point out also that the data mine dialogue is in order of it happening or almost in order. So it's not too difficult to find out what the next steps are. So here is her dialogue. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told Father I would be with him no longer. I remember the vow I took when I first became warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of lady, but I remain the same woman underneath. Though I have now abandoned my former guidance, I cannot express how much you've helped me should you become Elden Lord. I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. And that is the end of her dialogue after she's at round table hold. There's also a set of final dialogue where it appears that you can fight Nefeli. It also seems as though Gideon is still alive here, so it's unclear whether this is dialogue from previous parts of the quest or whether this is actually after the ending of her quest. And she says, What do you intend? Such conduct ill befits a warrior. I see you are but a simple villain. Let the scars remind you this lesson comes from Nefeli Lu. You wouldn't even register as a threat to father. Hurry up and die. Father, I am slain. Please become Elden Lord. So the interesting thing about this dialogue is if that is after the part where she's in the basement of Round Table Hold, it means that her father, who would be Gideon, is still alive. 
So for that very reason, I haven't fought Gideon just in case there's more to the story before you fight him. Or in fact, you're not supposed to fight him at all. But it's very hard to say. Next, Kenneth Height, and we know the outcome of Nefeli's quest mostly because of his dialogue. It's nice to see you after so long, safe and sound. I take it everything is good. And he mentions that he has indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For this time being, I share command of the castle with my lady, but I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. So I guess that means she is the ruler of Castle Stormville, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it just as wondrous as you imagine. And again, at the very end of his dialogue, he also has dialogue in which you attack him. Now, another character is Gostock, the guy you meet at the start of Stormville Castle Gates. His voice lines currently go to where he is stomping on Godric's remains, but he has more dialogue after that if you give him a certain item. And it starts with, You're giving that to me? Well, I suppose I did save your life in a way. I'll gladly take it off your hands. Be rude not to. You tarnished are all right by me. The sweet ones like you, anyway. But then after this, Gostock will have lines for when Nefeli has become ruler. Ah, you, is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom wasn't worth squat. Besides, I like it around here. Lady Nefeli's still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust, so I can loot all the corpses I like. I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. And then there's dialogue for when you look at his store, presumably. And of course, there's Gostock dialogue for when you attack him as well. So guys, as you can see, there's still more to the quest to go, and it's been a lot of fun trying to figure it out. But since we never have, I wanted to share this video on everything we know so far, and to see if anyone else has figured out the next steps. Specifically, what item you give to Gostock, and where you aided Nefeli, the two main next steps to unlocking the remaining parts of the mission. But for now, it's all still a mystery. Nefeli is still at Round Table Hold, talking about her hawk. Gostock is still stomping on Godric's remain, and Kenneth is still in his fort. I have seen some people mention that after you defeat the fire giant and you burn the Erd tree, that Nefeli will go missing from Round Table Hold. But on the other hand, I've seen people who have mentioned that after doing that, she's still there. So for now, I haven't destroyed the Earth tree in case there's a certain trigger in order to get her to leave the round table hold. But there's still a lot left to understand about this whole questline. But what we do know is Nefeli is the new ruler Kenneth is looking for, and she moves to become the ruler of Stormville Castle. But how we get there is a mystery. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and your theories on this quest. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.